Uh, hi, good evening, and uh, thanks for watching this video. So, uh, I recently covered a little bit on the, uh, the Sony camera hardware, but now we're here at the, um, the Panasonic uh, brand store, at the uh, Sobo department store, again at the uh, East One Center. And this is what I should have covered a long time ago, so this is the GH5S uh, Panasonic with the red buttons and, uh, and uh, rings, whatever. Now that's a GX5 here, that's GX5S here, and of course, uh, you know, for those of you who know, the GX5S may, may have a um, uh, low uh, picture, uh, uh, picture count, just uh, 10 million pictures, but it's, uh, it's a killer for video stuff. And I'm going to show you the, uh, I'm not going to do, a, do a, the full testing because uh, I don't have the uh, capability to do so, but I'm going to show you the menus, the video settings that are possible, including the uh, system frequency. So in other words, it's just like Sony's uh, World Cam specification, but this one here has a better representation of uh, the switch without a next screen. So I'm going to show you. So we go to the menu here. Okay, the focus is a little bit off here, but uh, but uh, okay. So um, now this is a Hong Kong model, so uh, language is uh, limited to just two, basically English, uh, U.S. English, and then uh, Chinese in uh, both a uh, traditional and simplified characters, but nothing else. It's fine. So okay. So here we go to the setup menu. And uh, okay, so as you can see, you know, uh, after looking at the uh, Sony's uh, GUI menu on certain uh, camera models, I just find that the uh, the the GUI on the Panasonic's uh, are not only updated but also cleaner with bigger text. And uh, okay, oh, all right. So okay, this is what everyone is looking for. Okay, ah, oh, sure. The, uh, the eye sensor can work. So system frequency is uh, basically the world cam um, uh, uh, switch mode. So you go to system frequency. So now it's uh, at, uh, 50 50 point zero zero hertz PAL. So you see the the actual frame rate and the uh, uh, frequencies are, are correctly displayed here. So NTSC is actually not 60. It's 59.94. So it's uh, 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 so Panasonic has represented all these uh, modes correctly, unlike Sony, which you know, when in NTSC mode, you only get the settings uh, 60, 30, 24, but in fact that 5994, 2997, and 2398. So, so, when we switch to NTSC and XQ, okay, so just a simple message, please turn the camera off, so it's not an on auto reboot here, so let's turn it off. And then of course, uh, there should be another message prompting you to format uh, the card, a memory card, should you be doing uh, video stuff in uh, under AVC HD mode, because uh, the idea of AVC HD is just like uh, Blu-ray disc, so at one instance of uh, the camera operation, you can only record videos in uh, one system, so it's either PAL frame rate or NTSC frame rate. So, as long as the card is, uh, has a pair video, you can't use it on the NTSC un unless you form a card or better yet, put in a new card. So, so uh, probably there's a card inside, but uh, there's no video, so there's no uh, warning message. So, so now uh, I'm here. At the, okay, so it's uh, 59.94. There's also the true cinema mode 20 at 24.00. So this is a Panasonic exclusive. So perhaps that's one of the reasons why, despite uh, Sony's ill marketing of uh, you know their so-called full-frame uh, mirrorless camera stuff or whatever, some people would still uh, stick to Micro Four Thirds. It's a small sensor but more compact, and also with the GX5S you actually get more um, uh, video recording capabilities. So let's go to the video mode here. So. Okay, I wouldn't say it's cluttered, but it's long, multi-page, but okay. So I just set the uh, recording format to a uh, MOE wrapper, so it's QuickTime wrapper. So I'm glad that uh, Panasonic still uh, respects that. So what does MOE do? 
basically if you're, you're using an, an Apple workflow like a Final Cut, you're gonna get all the advantages with uh, MOV. So, recording cord. Let's, uh, so now uh, we're here at, uh, with, uh, at, in, uh, under NTSC mode, so 60 hertz. Okay. Let me uh, switch off the, uh, the eye sensor. Okay. There's no eye sensor here. So, this is 4K. 23.98p. So as you can see, the uh, the video mode and the um, the the sampling and everything. So it's four four point uh, four to two to zero eight bit uh, 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 sampling or quantization. It's long uh, group of pictures and a bit bit rate. And then the audio codec is uh, linear PCM. And there's also the uh, VFR. I don't know what VFR is. That don't worry. So now we get high def, um, uh, high def, full high def for 994p, uh, all intro, 422 10 bit all intro, get 200 max uh, for the um, uh, bit rate. So 100 LPCM and then uh, long GOP 4208 4, bit. So all intro, again, uh, it's a uh, uh, pseudo 30p or 297 long GOP so this is what you get under the NTSC mode with clear descriptions which is great so now switch to um, okay now for some reason the H, H uh, the uh, H E V C uh, 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 mode is disabled I'm not sure if it's uh, an option upgrade or whatever but so let's switch to EV60 uh, don't worry. Okay, probably card is uh, limited to certain uh, uh, capacity. So, under AV60, this is what you get. 28 uh, uh, MPPS is what what you can get with a um, uh, progressive. This interlace, 17. Interlace, uh, 24. So I, I still have no idea what VFR is, but I'm gonna check. So. So the Adobe Audio. So there's also MP4. So uh, so audio is in AAC encoding. So different modes have different uh, uh, uses. So so uh, okay. So this is in MP4 mode, but uh, the audio is it's recorded in the linear PCM and compressed. So. So you can see it. it's also 4K and uh, HLG I think is some some kind of log gamma thing, but uh, I'm not going to show. I'm not going to uh, explain it a little bit. So as the uh, restrictions shown here. Wow. So the MP4 recording will expand four pages. So that makes the uh, the GH5 as a true killer. So, wow. so let me uh, switch back to PAL and we're going to take a look at the PAL recording um, uh, uh, modes. So manual restart. So we just go back to here recording format starting from AVCHD. So 50 0 p 50i and another okay ah okay image sensor output is 25p okay so this guy is kind of uh, interpolated uh, so but uh, there's no okay all right don't worry and before basically just uh, these are power rates here so again disabled but uh, suppose hybrid lock armor okay don't worry about that don't worry about that. Again, we get the, all the um, still spans three pages with the um, PAL uh, frame rates here and then MOV. Again, spanning three pages. You know, all I long GOP, so it's a proper IPB. All I all intro. You know, so with all intro, you actually can get uh, better uh, screen captures. Cleaner, I believe. So, 422, 420. So these are the, um, I guess, uh, the distinct features of the GH5S as compared as uh, opposed to the GH5 here. 
So let me put this back to AB6 actually. So time code. Okay, you also get time code here. I've never seen. Actually, I think Sony also uh, 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 supports time code, but uh, I'm not sure of the operation. I think you have to set something in the manual, but nothing is, is as clean as the Panasonic here. So again, this is an up updated manual. Since the GX4, and you also find in GX5, GX5S, and the FZ2500. Also, uh, true NTSC PAL and cinema cable camera with optional uh, lock arm upgrade. So, so I guess uh, this is what I'm going to show you. There's not much that I can show. Also, uh, I just played around with uh, the cameras and the focus system is real killer. Of course, you have to choose the right systems, but I'm not going to demonstrate that. You can probably find the reference information uh, elsewhere online, so I'm not going to show it. But it does feel great, very robust. I mean, very. Uh, I would say solid as uh, as tank and. Uh, and I have to say one more thing. This guy has been used by real people in uh, uh, previous circumstances. And the first time I saw uh, saw this being used was during uh, the uh, Hong Kong film, uh, the Hong Kong International Film Festival back in March, uh, during a little aftermath of um, a Japanese movie screening. So there was some kind of uh, 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 signing and uh, postcard distribution from uh, the. Uh, uh, certain stars of the movie concerned. I'm not naming the movie. So, 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 and there was uh, some kind of crew, you know, documenting scene. And I saw one guy using the GX5S. And you know why I know it's GX5S because there's a red button here, and there's the uh, red ring here. You see these two um, uh, uh, features, you know it's going to be a GX5S. And of course, and you know, uh. Uh, they could be uh, amateur people, it could be part of a crew actually using uh, this guy to document uh, uh, certain things. And of course, if you're a crew, a video crew, you, you really want this bad thing. Now this guy costs around 20 some K uh, in Hong Kong. Quite expensive, but, uh, but uh, if, if you know your video stuff, if you know the, uh, your video knowledge and video workflow, and if you know uh, what type of results and compression and whatever that you need for your final uh, or for the video needs uh, you want to choose this one so so with Sony uh, I'm sorry uh, you might want to stick to XD cam with the XAVC codec but uh, I never get to try one of those so so uh, I guess that's uh, with the um, uh, Panasonic now one more thing I want to add is, uh, you know, regarding uh, system frequency, it seems that Panasonic is still um, being conservative and uh, maintaining uh, either PAL or NTSC uh, 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 system on and, uh, the rest of the, the camera right here. So, GX9, G9, and uh, I tried the uh, NTSC frame hack, in other words, hacking into the, uh, the, uh, ser uh, the service mode. Couldn't do it. ZS220, uh, you can do it. So basically, same operation you know, from uh, from two years back, but not these two. So I would say, you know, I would like to appeal to Panasonic that uh, to uh, to open up the uh, video system frequency uh, selection, and not just these uh, uh, top models, but also the uh, the common models like these one inch models and these models here. And uh, that would uh, provide customers more convenience in the um, uh, video taking uh, and at their preferred uh, uh, system, uh, system frequency or, 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 or frame rate. So it, it's not like you know in in Poland you, you can't use NTSC. You just that sometimes sometimes you need to use um, more frame rates for NLG. And uh, I would say that's also part of me. I'll probably stick to uh, 60 instead of 50, unless you're shooting something like uh, a neon or fluorescent lights, where the, the, the frequency oscillation difference would cause problems with uh, the, the, uh, the final video result. So, so anyway, so it would be uh, the responsibility of the, um, the user, the video shooter, to uh, to use the appropriate uh, 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 system and uh, frame rates, but at least something like the uh, GX5S, you you get basically everything that uh, uh, Panasonic could provide 
from the Micro Four Third sensor. It's uh, this one's a uh, 10 million pixel. I suppose the 20 million pixel on GH5, but with limited uh, shooting modes. So I guess uh, that's it. So that's hopefully would serve as a little reference to you folks online regarding uh, uh, video shooting and the system frequencies from the uh, Panasonic Arena. So once again, anything red is an S model. So that concludes this uh, rough uh, walkthrough of the uh, the uh, G5S regarding video system frequencies. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with more on uh, other uh, camera hardware. So in the meantime. Have a good night and uh, stay tuned.